guys and welcome to another juicy vlog. Mission number one of today is to find me some sunglasses because look how much I'm squinting in the sun, I can't see a thing. Where have yours gone? Well, I was just gonna explain. So I've got quite a big head and every pair of sunglasses <laughs> I have, like they look great because like I pick nice sunglasses, but they're always too small for my head and they give me a headache after 10 minutes so I don't wear them. And when I'm driving, they give me a headache so I can't wear them. So nice. I need to find some like big headed sunglasses basically. So I can wear them and actually be comfortable in them. You are and quite big headed. Thank you. And I've um, got a pair in mind. So yeah, that's mission number one of today. We've just had some breakfast at home. Lucy made it, it's delicious. We didn't film it actually. In today's video, we want to have a chat about the lens that we use, the small Panasonic. Not this one. 1.7, 25 mil lens that we use to film all our kind of B-roll and intros and stuff like that. If you've clicked on this video because of that, we will be doing it very shortly. So don't worry, it's not this lens. This is our wide angle for our like walking shots, but yeah. I'm out of breath. Because <laughs> since we filmed the last video on the channel the boohoo haul we pretty much used that lens for the whole video which was fun and we've had a ton of you guys message us and ask us what gear we're using what lens we're using to get that kind of blurry background get yeah. those really sharp images so we're going to answer some of those questions today but we can't use that when we're walking along because it'd be like this hello yes. so that doesn't happen we're off now to try out a new place in worthing in our town that's mission that two just opened yep. a new eatery they've called themselves an eatery so it must yeah. be posh so we're going to try it out we're going to go for a coffee go for a drink get some work done we'll see you in there no we won't we'll see you in the sunglasses shop all right see you there <laughs> i think i found them <laughs> basically lucy saw these ray bands the other day they were like 200 pounds so right. she it's not an issue like it's not an issue paying for it like as in obviously it's too much for sunglasses in my head but that's not the problem it's like i'd sit on them i'd break them yeah and i've lost 200 quid so i need cheap ones. i would never pay that much for sunglasses no. i don't think i always lose sunglasses these are from tk maxx i actually get a lot of dms about these as well they're these... women's sunglasses yeah they are they're women's <laughs> they've got a love heart on the side and i like carved it off but i like them you guys seem to like them so job's good i think we've made a decision I like them. Yeah, they're well like nice and loose on my fat head. <laughs> they're like I like that they're fat, thick here. They're fat glasses. They're like thick at the side. Like me. A bit like you, yeah. only use two lenses when we make our videos we use the Panasonic GH5 to film all of our vlogs we mainly use the wide-angle lens that we've got on right now which is the which is the Panasonic Lumix 7 to 14 millimeter lens now the GH5 if you know about cameras is a micro four-thirds system so with the lenses it kind of it's a smaller crop sensor so the lenses you get are half the millimeter of a normal lens so this 25 mil lens that we're talking about today is actually a 50 mil lens on most other cameras if that makes well, sense 70D it was, wasn't it? yeah so we used to have a 70d we filmed with so canon lenses 50 mil lens oh my god there's a massive wasp so we only really use two lenses we obviously want to increase that and get more there's a ton of lenses we've got our eyes on but really to make these vlogs we use the wide angle and we use this little bad boy which is a tiny tiny lens to be honest super small these lenses are it's it's one of the more plasticky ones but it's it was quite cheap how much was this loose like 150 yeah it's about 100 well, 200, maybe. maybe 200 pounds for this which is good for a lens if you're if you know anything about cameras and lenses you know that you can spend way over a grand on a decent lens. The 7 to 14 wide angle, which I'm using to film this bit on, was about seven to eight hundred pounds. Which is actually quite ironic because the actual, uh, like the quality, probably looks better uh, with this lens here, and it's actually the cheaper one. And we probably, in terms of the actual shots we get, they're much more cinematic and stuff than that one. This one's more of like a practical lens. This one's more of a creative lens. We use it for loads of things like cooking shots. We use it quite a lot, don't we? And like when we did our fashion all the other day, we said we got all the close-ups and stuff with it and we've also used it when we're just like 
filming each other talking so like when we were in New uh, Newcastle we used it for a bit on the vlog then and although we couldn't use it like I said a minute ago like close up because it's so like zoomed in when we step back a bit and actually film each other like because of the blurry background it looks so much better like the actual quality of it but it's like not practical for that really it's no. much more practical if you're like filming close up stuff and to illustrate that we'll leave the camera on the table exactly where it is right now and we'll flip to the other lens we won't yes. zoom it in uh, this is a prime lens so there's no zoom on this lens so we'll leave the camera exactly where it is and we'll swap the lenses now and you'll see what we mean there you go <laughs> This is why we can't do it. Oh, sorry, quiet in here. And this is why we can't use it for like things like this when the camera is so close to us. Like, I don't think you'd want to watch me this close for an entire video, would you? <laughs> but overall, we do love this lens. We'd recommend it to anyone with GH5 if you want to get that more cinematic look and it doesn't cost a fortune either. It's easy to chuck in your bag. Probably shouldn't chuck a lens, but we do. Hope you enjoyed this little review, but now we're going to get back to our drinks and we are going to get some work done. Thank you very much. See you later. Thank you. A couple of hours of work done there. We are currently in the middle of planning something. Oh wait, do I have my sunglasses? Yes, I do. Lucy and I are currently in the middle of planning something pretty big. Um, and you guys know we've always got something going on. This but is this the biggest is, thing ever. Yeah. And, and the we, biggest thing yet in our whole lives. Yeah, it's actually quite a big kind of life moment in a way. We're not pregnant, not getting married. Not even. Um, but yeah, so we've been planning that for the last couple of hours. That was a new place in Worthing called the Eatery, I think it's called. No, it's Finch, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's called Finch. And it underneath it says the Eatery. Yeah, in a tiny writing, I just read that for some reason. <laughs> um, eating it. <laughs> pretty good, it looked nice. I didn't realise they serve alcohol as well. We just had a soft drink and um, used their Wi-Fi for a bit, but it was very, very nice. So yeah. if, you, if you live in Worthing or visit Worthing, recommend giving them a little visit. We're heading over now to get me a haircut um, and get we all also need to we also need to pack later because tomorrow we're off to bath for a couple of nights yeah, not excited. actually bath but like 45 minutes away from bath so it's easier to say bath yeah we're staying in like the middle of nowhere in this really really nice hotel it's like a spa resort again um but we're gonna go into bath for maybe we're well, definitely one of the days maybe the second day if there's nothing else to do around that area but um yeah definitely one of the days so we're looking forward to that yeah we are it's gonna be so much fun um, i absolutely love bath i asked on my instagram for some recommendations a load of you guys messaged me and gave us some stuff but if any of you have been and you think oh my god they would love that yeah. cafe or that restaurant or i did hang this on. in bath and it was amazing hang on. let us know in the comments hang on when's this going live i think we might already i will already be there yeah. do it anyway <laughs> do it anyway maybe but <laughs> we'll see <laughs> Arrived at the barber shop, and hopefully, Max is here, the guy who cuts my hair. I've just come back to the car now because I've already moved the car twice and I've run out of places to park uh, waiting for Joshua's haircut. Um, I didn't think men's hair took this long but fine. He's looking good and he's about to finish but I thought I'd just come into the car because if anyone comes along I can be like no don't give me a ticket hopefully. We actually booked tickets to somewhere in the city earlier today so we're going on the 10th is it the 10th of August, a Friday? It's basically like the creator day for it and we're super excited because it's up, up in London and it's like there's loads of, I don't know, yeah, it's a technical and there's like loads of workshops and stuff and it sounds really fun. So we're super excited about that. Uh, something to look forward to, certainly. Comment below if you're going to be coming along to that, if you're going to be there uh, as a creator and sort of be great to meet some of you guys if you are going along. So that's exciting. Uh, we're going to head home soon. We're making a really, really exciting dinner tonight and um, we'll tell you more about that soon, but... I'm so excited for it because I'm bloody starving. Here he is, fresh cut. Oh, let him in. Yo. You're driving, yeah? Oh yeah, sure. Haircut all finished with my mate Max. Um, Looks he's... good, hang on, let me just do a quick. Actually, it's kind of dark, but I'll show you when we get out of the car. I'll show you properly in a minute. Hopefully you can see a little bit. 
Um, go on my Instagram because I'm going to upload a photo of the haircut. Um, Max is a very, very talented guy. He's only cut my hair twice, but really get on with him. We have great chat. He knows what he's doing, 100%. I would love to be able to cut hair. It'd be so cool. He actually did like a, not even a zero, he called it like baby smooth right on the sides, right here and along the bottom there. So there's actually like no hair on part of it. I needed that. It's good that I got hair in before we go away tomorrow. Super excited for that. We need to go and make some dinner now because we're so hungry. This is so cool. We're working with a company on tonight's dinner. How amazing is that? They saw that we like post a load of food stuff on our Instagrams and talk about food on YouTube and we always show you guys what dinner Lucy's making and stuff. So tonight, can I help? Are you being serious? Okay, that's a no. No, 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 I want you to. Like, I'm surprised <laughs> yeah, you're offering. Yeah, of course I want to help. Bloody so, hell. So tonight, we'll talk about more in a minute, but we're working with a very cool company um, who are providing tonight's dinner, which is hint, crazy. Hint, hint. It's going to get spicy. Spicy. Back at the flat now, guys. And as we mentioned, we're going to cook dinner. When I say we, um, I'm going to try and help Lucy for once because... Ah! If you... I just sprayed something in my eye. Oh dear. If you're a regular viewer of the Juicy Vlog, then you will know that Lucy cooks the majority of our meals. Um, that is just a fact. It's not that I can't cook. It's that Lucy is just incredibly good at cooking and enjoys it. She enjoys choosing meals, looking at recipes, choosing ingredients, putting a meal together. Um, I do all the washing up and all the... All that kind of stuff around it, um, and I do help now and then. You do wash up, to be fair. Like I probably wouldn't cook if, like, I'd way rather cook than wash up, basically. Yeah, and I well, can't say I'd rather wash up, but it, it's not a bad deal. Let's put it that way. So as we mentioned in the car, we're working with a company called Handy Bites on tonight's dinner and this video. And that's about Handy H A A N D I. Yes, right. this arrived in the post the other day from them and they've been kind enough to sponsor this part of the video today and we're going to cook up some of their food. They're basically a company who provide spices effectively so they sent us this kit which is like a full kit of spices. That's a glass jar, don't hold it is like it? that. Yeah. But they've literally sent us all the stuff we need to make like several meals. Let me talk you through it. So we've got Biryani, so basically, for me, when I'm cooking, I find, like, I've got some spices in a drawer, but I can't really be bothered to, like, make a curry up. I just kind of guess, throw random things in, and hope for the best. This is actually, like, a spice mix pre-made for the curry you're doing. So it's not like a jar. You still make the sauce yourself, which is great, because jar never tastes the same as, like, how it should be. But this is, like, halfway there, so it's super helpful, isn't it? Because, like, I, I yeah. can't be bothered with the body pestle and mortar and... Sorry about that. And it gives you like, an, like a recipe on the back. So I'm gonna pick one in a second. But first I'll go through what we've got. So we've got a couple of each. The biryani, the chicken tikka we've got. I've never heard of this one. Jira, that's medium. It, it tells you like the spicy level as well. A korma, which is a firm favorite. And it's quite um fine spice, isn't it? Yeah. So, so it's already like been grounded up. It saves like, like I said, like, We've bought mixes before for spices um, and it's like loads of massive ingredients like you get a big old like bay leaf sticking out of it. This is already ground up. We have to worry about picking out the horrible big, what are they called? Bay leaves. No, I've just said that. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Bay leaves. Oh, cardamons. No. Cardamons. Cardamons. <laughs> I'm it. glad you don't cook. Um, but I've never had, like you're probably watching this thinking, Lucy, don't do it. I've never had a vindaloo. And that's the one I want to do today because I've never had it. And it's the hottest one on the list. It's got three chilies that says hot underneath. But George is all bunged up from his hay fever. So I think you need something spicy to get yourself flowing a bit more. And I just really fancy trying it. So I feel like yeah. what we're going to go for. And it's, it's called Volcanic Vindaloo. So oh my God. thank you. There's also a little cayenne pepper chutney. Oh. That's quite sweet, isn't it? Fancy. That is well nice. I love a chutney. Cool. There's no sun up. In the sky, I don't know why There's no sun up in the sky I don't know why So in this, in the 15 grams, we've got ground cashmere chilli, garlic, ground cumin, ginger, red chilli powder, salt and turmeric powder. Like, honestly, I couldn't be bothered to buy each of them ingredients and grind them up. So I've literally cooked up some chicken and some onions with oil, adding this in, add some water, some vinegar, uh, some tomato paste and some chicken stock, and that's literally it. It's so easy, and then just put, cook some rice up and serve. And there's no, like, tin tomatoes, coconut milk, get your thumb out of shop. Made my life easier. What have you done so far, hun? Um, I, well, I, fi I filmed it. I filmed. I filmed you yeah. cooking. Yeah. In the sky, I don't know why. All done with 
was cooking now. We're gonna enjoy this. Let me try it. Hang on. I'm a bit scared. I've never had something this spicy. That's well nice. Is it? Let me try some. That's lovely. That flavour. Thank you. Have a whole plate of it to yourself in a minute. I don't know why you're trying. Yeah, to I just, I just can't <laughs> wait. Oh my god, that's so nice. Actually, oh, I'm so hungry. Okay, oh, serve up. I'm getting right. We're gonna enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you so much to Handy Bites. We're gonna link all their stuff below their Instagram and stuff if you want to check them out on their website. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. We've loved using your stuff, and I'm sure you'll see more incoming vlogs because we've got a whole box of curries to make now, which is so exciting. And we love a curry. We're off on another night away tomorrow to Bath. Uh, staying in this other amazing, amazing, amazing sort of spa hotel up there. So keep your eyes out for a couple of more daily videos. And we're having a massage. We're having another massage. We're having another full body massage. They've hooked us up, guys. So excited. Right. On that note, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!